you have um, lower back, whether it's um, an acute pain or chronic, you want relief when it happens, and you want the chronic pain to go away. In some cases, it will. You will still have acute pain periodically, but what you want to do is to get rid of it completely, right? So this is how you do it. I'm going to use the firmer one because the red one is too soft for me. It just doesn't do much anymore. You lie down like so on the back. Um, we don't want it to be on your lumbar spine because a lot of people don't have a lot of control or stability from the core. So you push it in, you roll it in towards the, uh, the, mid, the mid back and you try to relax into it. If this is too much, the first thing you want to do is place your hands behind your head Press the heels, get on the stuck. Press your heels into the mat. And what you want to do is just to roll. You have to have enough body awareness and control to go up and down. If you don't at all, let your hips sag on the floor. So they just you see they're sliding and you can almost hear that. But if you do, this is also great for your glutes. It's a double work. I always like it when you get to one, you know. So and keep rolling up and down, up and down your upper back, so that's thoracic. Then what you're going to do, you're going to shift your weight to the right, come through the center, shift the weight to the left. If this is too much coordination, just stay on the right side. So this is again just more of an upper right of your thoracic, and then you shift the weight a little bit to the left, and then this is upper left thoracic. So what you want to do, you want to start maybe with 15 seconds if it's too much, you know, your neck gets tired. If you have any neck injuries, obviously consult with your doctor because if you have few spine disc vertebrae, you have to make sure that you're not providing very pressure. We want to break the spine. Um, always go to the doctor. But if you haven't had any surgeries, no bulging disc or any of that stuff, if there's just muscular pain, not you don't have spine problems due to structural issues, this is a completely different, um, it, it will be a different conversation because when it's structural and it has to do with bones, you have to be sure what, what you're doing. This is just muscular, muscular pain and you have the MRIs done and you know there is no um, structural damage because if there is, make sure that you do everything with the doctor because this is really more serious, it's a different kind of issue. Muscular is mostly because there is a muscular imbalance and some of the muscle, whether they're not stretched, they need to be strengthened or lengthened, these are completely different issues. It's, it, it's just two different sides of the spectrum. So once you're done with that, sometimes we get pain right here in the side part of the lumbar, just on, like on the right or on the left from the twisting motion. What you're going to do is you're going to slightly shift your weight on one leg. And you see my right leg flat kind of goes open because I really want to get to the side. And you start rolling. Start with 230 seconds because this is a lot of pressure. And if this is too much, use the other one and then we'll twist. And the way I do this, I do it on one side for 30 seconds, do it on the other side so you're not just stagnating or procrastinating. Or if you're short on time, you really don't have time to break. You do it 30 seconds on each side twice. The next part will be, oh, let's do the, since we're on here on the floor, let's do the magic tennis ball. This is our tennis balls. What you're gonna do, you're gonna go on your back. You're gonna lower yourself down in controlled motion, and you're gonna put it right in the middle of the back, so it's not here where if you lie down, you're not going to feel it. You're going to slide it up, right? I guess it's on the outside where the belly button would be if it was on the back. And you lower yourself down. Making sure that there is equal pressure. And really tell yourself to relax. It will be hard if it's an acute problem. If it's happening right away, this will be very painful. What you want to do is you want to breathe through it. Again, make sure that 
this is muscular and not structural, and you don't have a bulging disc because it's a different story. If it's acute pain, find the part, because you see, if you have a, when you lie down, there will be a slight arch, so if you are going to put it here, nothing's going to happen, it's just going to hang out there. Find a spot where you can feel it, and breathe into it. Then inhale, bring your hands up and over. What happens is right now, the pressure on the ball, because of the position of the hand, changes. And then exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. So what you're going to do, you're going to inhale and exhale for about, start with five and build to ten. Then you're going to move it up just an inch. And you're going to repeat this cycle until you get right where your scapula is. At this point, we're going to switch it our hands. We're going to inhale and open, exhale, and close. And again, this is inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. And you really want to go through the motion. And if it hurts, and if it's acute, you will not be doing it faster. And also make sure that your inhalation and exhalation are at least the same length, and exhalation is much shorter, because we tend to exhale shorter and make a big inhalation and a short exhalation. Once it's not too painful, what I do is, I don't want to make my chain, you roll through the entire spine up and down. And this feels just delicious. It just feels so good. It relieves the pressure. And when you're done, just release it and then let your spine settle. You might feel some cracking, so this actually helps straighten out my spine. I can, when I've had it in a while, I can feel it just going right back and um, where everything should be. Another part is lie on your side. If you have grab a pillow or a block so you can stabilize your legs, and what you're going to do is you're going to lie on your side, and then you can put something under your head if this is uncomfortable, so, so this can come here. But ideally, you really don't want to because we're looking for the opening of the chest and the rotational piece. So lie down here, and then inhale, open up. Stretch, this stretches your pecs. Think about pressing the shoulder blade into the opposite direction. The leg, the reason for the, the reason for the um, engagement is you want to engage your inner thighs. So inhale, come up. Exhale, open up. And really breathe and slowly open up. And slowly close. What we're doing, we're rotating from the lower ribs, baby ribs, to the left. And then closing up. Again, this is a 10 count open and a 10 count close. And all I'm doing is just this. This is how it looks from the back. So you see my legs are 90 degree angle. You lie down, straight line, inhale. Hello. Open up. Exhale. And you can actually might feel a little crackling in the back. Ten count. Really stretch. Think about reaching to the opposite wall. Shoulder blades driving back. And inhale. Keep going. Stretch in the pack. A little twist. And come in. So this is the stuff on the bowl. And I'm, I'm telling you, I've told about this to so many people. Even my mom tried it and she loves it. And um, she has low back issues. She had it for um, a very long time. And uh, this really it makes a difference. What do you do with the... the a lot of times the reason for the low back problem is we have weak core. So our stabilizers, the ab muscles, transverse abdominis are not, they're just not engaged. So that means the back takes the most hit. There are a few good um, core activation exercises you can do on the foam roller. That's why you want the long ones. As you can see, because I have a long torso, this is very enough. This is the longest one available. So first, let's just lie down here. Think about 
your scapular wrapping around and melting around the femoral. Open up your arms. Feel a stretch in your pecs. From here, make sure that the palm of your hand and all the way through the elbow is on the mat. You're going to inhale, start sliding them up. The moment you start feeling that this comes off, don't go as far. So stop right where you start about to come up in the elbow. So you want the entire palm. So this intensifies the stretch. You come up and come down. Inhale, come up. So you've got your cactus hand and come down. When you come down, you will feel a stretch. This is slightly forced stretch because you're engaging your upper back, your back muscles, your rhomboids, your um, lats to press the hands down and then come up. And then inhale and come up. This was so good. So nice. I'm really enjoying it. Anyway, the next exercise for the core will be place your hands by your side. Toes and knees pointing forward. Toes and knees pointing forward. From here, take your leg, bring it in, and then the other one. What you want to do, you want to switch the legs in the air. Minimal movement in the hips and the upper body. Really engage your lower abs. Don't let your back arch. And breathe. This is too easy. You can straighten the legs. What you want is minimal movement. You don't want the foam roller to move. So this is works on your core and stabilization. Another one is you open up your arm and bring it in and up. Inhale and expand, reach to the opposite direction, exhale, bring it in. And then you will switch to the other side. You inhale, open up. And pay attention which side is weak or stronger. If you're noticing that you're balancing, you're moving more on the opposite side, start with the weaker part, and then to go to the stronger, and then finish with the weaker part. From here, what we're going to do, we're going to bring the knees, our third exercise, bring the knees to the tabletop. Then expand, lower, up, in. Expand, lower, up, in. Expand, lower, up, in. Expand, lower, up, in. But make sure that the fingers are pointing up. You're really hugging the midline. You, the um, minimal movement, ideally none, in the foam roller. Next one will be just toe taps. Don't let your lower back arch. Don't let your shoulders climb up into the ears. So sometimes you can hunch you. So your scapula really has to be depressed. The way to find it is extend your hands up in the air and really depress it and let your shoulders be around. The scapula kind of melt around the foam roller. And that will be it. So today was the Pali Yoga challenge and specifically geared towards acute and um, chronic. I, forgot, I almost forget the chronic word. Acute and chronic lower back pain. So whenever you feel some, just come back to the pose, do those exercises. And um, I, I'm sure 100% that you will feel better because that's something that I tried myself and all my clients and it worked. Of course, again, if you have, I do recommend going to the doctor, making sure that they do the MRIs if you, if this is something new, you gotta be, you, you wanna, you wanna know that there is no bulge disc or any of the structural damage that could have happened. So until next time, free to be fit. <laughs>